everybody so welcome to today's video where I am going to be going over all the equipment and all of the software that I use for my videos these are the behind the scenes videos uh, for this week celebrating my one year anniversary uh, being on YouTube all right and in this video series we are going to be talking about the analytics uh, behind YouTube and how I can figure out uh, what people like, what people don't like, or how I need to get more data to know those things. I mean, this is a data channel. Of course, I'm gonna talk about the analytics behind the scenes. Uh, this video where we're talking about the hardware and some of the tricks uh, of how to get good lighting and you know that sort of thing. And then the piece de resistance, so to speak. Uh, that's horrible pronunciation, I'm so sorry. Uh, where we will be talking about how I film and actually edit my videos. Okay, so I hope you watch all three in this series, just as a nice nod uh, to being part of the channel or because you're interested in doing your own video editing. It doesn't have to be for YouTube. Uh, all right, so with that, let's go get started. I'm also going to leave below uh, links to the equipment, uh, some of the tools, any links I have to additional resources you might want to check out, all of which are going to be down below. Okay, so the very first thing I want to start out with is what equipment do I have? So um, a lot of people will tell you to get a fancy camera, big lighting, you know, all these other things. Um, I have fabulous lighting and that's because <laughs> Right there and right there and right there are big banks of windows. <laughs> the only solid wall in the room that you see me sitting in is the one right behind me. <laughs> uh, and it's actually really funny. I'll put uh, a picture up on the screen. There. there you go. Can you see it? That's what my filming studio looks like. Uh, it's just a sunroom in my house. <laughs> Thankfully has heating uh, for the winter, but it does not have air conditioning. Uh, luckily, just last week, I got a fan installed in this room, so I'm not dying of heat while I'm in here doing uh, my filming. And the other thing you will notice is the lighting does sometimes change while I'm filming, and it's because I have all natural lighting. So it was a very cheap light source. <laughs> Uh, but there are some problems with it, right? It can it can change on me very quickly. Uh, you'll probably see that in some of my videos where the lighting will change uh, throughout the video. Uh, you'll also probably notice that sometimes I'm looking a little shiny and that's because in the winter, I do have to use artificial lighting in this room uh, because I do have a day job and I have to do my filming either really early or really late. And in the winter, usually those times are still dark. So I do have two lamps in the room, uh, but I also have a big light kit that I use. I honestly don't use it too often though because I just find it's really harsh lighting. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of, of what it does um, to, to the videos. So I, I don't usually use that, but I will leave it down below in case you are looking for something because it was very highly rated. Um, so I also, another trick to getting good, good lighting in uh, good video quality is the camera uh, that I have. So the camera I have is, and I'll leave it down below too, but it is called a C922 Pro Stream Webcam by Logitech. And I actually really wanted to get um, their streaming and YouTube specific camera. Uh, but I, I started this channel in the middle of the, the pandemic and everybody else was buying camera equipment at that time. So this is the camera that I, I could get that wasn't going to cost me a fortune. And it, I would say is, is a pretty good camera. It, it is HD, um, it does shoot in 4K. I'm pretty sure, um, although I never do because I don't think a lot of people watch these kind of videos uh, in 4K. Uh, it also does have somewhat of a wide angle, which um, I do like that because it kind of opens up the space so it doesn't look like I'm in a tiny little space talking to you. Um, the other thing is the microphone. So the microphone I have, it is the Bifine. It's K668. 
I'll leave it down below. But it it looks like like that. Um, the Yeti ones are like the best. There we go. So the Yeti ones are the best ones on the market. But again, <clears throat> I started this in the pandemic. So I uh, could only get certain kinds of, of microphones, but I honestly don't think it's too bad. But if you watch my first, I think two videos, the film quality is really bad. And that's because I was using the camera in my work laptop, like the one that came in the laptop, as well as um, just a uh, Jabra uh, headset. You'd actually see me uh, wearing the headset in I think those videos. And they're really grainy. I sound like I'm speaking in a tin uh, can. Sometimes I still get a little echoey in this room because there's not a lot of other stuff in this room. It's really funny. I actually have a, a big uh, farm table that all of my equipment sits on uh, because this is also my office during the day for my regular job. And uh, it's in the middle of the room because I have to have it set up so you can uh, see behind me, uh, when I'm, when I'm filming. Otherwise I'd probably have it facing up against the wall out the window. Uh, cause I do have a very nice garden, um, outside of my window, which is nice. Uh, also, uh, some of you have seen it, uh, in earlier videos. Um, uh, but now the angle of the camera, I do point it down a little bit more just again for better lighting. Uh, but if you are interested, here we go. That up there. There you go, is real. It's not ancient. Um, it is uh, on real papyrus and a very good friend of mine uh, is from Alexandria, Egypt and she actually made that for me. And it is uh, of the Egyptian goddess of fertility, I believe. But I just, I love the, the symmetry of the wings and all of that. Uh, and it's just beautiful. So um, it's one of my favorite uh, things and it's always behind me. And then my backdrops, I just, you know, put things that I think are beautiful and kind of fit uh, the season just to make it, you know, bright and nice and just happy. I want this to be a, a friendly place for you to come and listen to data, learn a few things, that sort of thing. All right, so that's the main hardware, but, uh, the, the biggest and most expensive parts of, of the hardware is the PC and the Mac. So the PC, thankfully, thank you day job for giving me a great uh, computer that I can also do things um, in my spare time on. So it is a 32 uh, gig RAM and the only problem is it doesn't have a really great uh, graphics card. So I unfortunately can't do a lot of my editing on my PC. It's a Dell. Um, I'll leave that down below if I can find out what kind it is. Uh, so what I usually do is um, I do my editing on a MacBook Pro um, because it really is the best one in the business for doing editing if you're familiar with Macs. I sort of used Macs uh, a decent amount when I was in college, but then I got away from it. Uh, so going back to a Mac and, you know, learning all of it again uh, was uh, a process. <laughs> uh, and then jumping from PC to Mac and back again uh, sometimes causes my brain to malfunction. <laughs> but otherwise, I do think it, it works pretty well. So some other things that we're going to go over. Uh, my storage video takes up a lot of space as well as all of the additional um, assets that go along with the videos. So I usually save everything on Dropbox and that's because then I can put Dropbox on, you know, I also film sometimes on my iPhone. Um, obviously I'm editing on my, my Mac. So um, having it on Dropbox and I have the paid version of it. So I have enough space. It really just has worked really well for me. Uh, if you have any other suggestions though, like I'm totally fine uh, looking into other options if you have better suggestions. So I also use Streamlabs OBS uh, to actually do the actual filming. I don't do this on Teams or uh, Zoom or you know any of that stuff, uh, mostly because you can't do a lot of tweaking. Like you can't do it in HD. There's a bunch of other things that you can't do uh, using those tools. If that's all you have available to you, go, go for it. 
Uh, but OBS is free. Uh, so you, it just, and honestly, this was the, OBS was the easiest thing to figure out. It also helps you do live streaming, which I haven't done a lot of live streaming yet, but I want to. The reason I'm waiting is because uh, it's hard to find out when you are all uh, online and you might want to check out uh, a live stream, maybe of me doing some taxonomy work or some machine learning work or just a live Q&A session, which I'm totally fine doing. Um, but you have to get up to a thousand subscribers on YouTube before they allow you to have what's called the community tab where I can actually push notifications to you um, in your YouTube feed to let you know I'm going to be, you know, online at like 1 p.m. today or something like that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I've got a ways to go until I'm to a thousand subscribers. I'm not in it for the subscribers. I'm just saying that's a YouTube rule that I have to follow so that you can all know what I'm going to be on to make it worth me actually doing that. So um, I am also going to jump into using DaVinci uh, Resolve, which is where I do my editing. And if you want to actually see how I do my editing, stay tuned. And the last thing I will uh, note is, uh, and maybe this will fall on deaf ears for, for some, um, is my, my makeup. And uh, if you know me in real life, I don't actually wear a lot of makeup in real life. Um, I'm not saying I wear a lot of makeup right now either. It's just um, when you're on camera, your features can, can actually get very washed out sometimes. Uh, so I actually started work, uh, watching some YouTube makeup tutorials and you know that sort of thing to kind of understand what to do um, for on-camera makeup. And that goes for anybody. I mean, it's not just you know women that, that uh, do that. And uh, I now actually find it really fun. So um, I don't know, I'm, I'm not trying to do anything like that on YouTube, believe me. That's, that's a, little, a little too weird for me personally. But if you are interested in knowing like what kind of makeup I use, um, what I do um, to make sure that, you know, it, it makes sense for on camera, let me know. And um, I can either put it in the description below or I can do, uh, you know, a little video on, on what that is. I don't spend a lot of money on it and I don't spend a lot of time on it, but you know, it's something in case you were interested in that I can show. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed the run through of, you know, that back end hardware uh, software kind of piece. And if you are interested in how I actually use these things to film and edit my videos, stay tuned for the next one. All right, so with that, thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.